Dan Campbell told us the other day, part of the allure of coming to Detroit as both a player and a coach, I wanted to be a part of turning this thing around. And they are on the verge of a division title if they can keep the Vikings out of the end zone. You know, the best thing about Dan Campbell's team, when they were struggling, we called a bunch of their games, and there was never any finger pointing. They all had the vision. They all believed that they could get to this point, and we were the ones. We loved watching the way that they were building it. It looks really good. First and ten for the Vikings from their 33-yard line. Two minutes remaining. Mullins. Looking downfield, throws, and the pass gets batted down. Intended for Brandon Powell. Aiden Hutchinson getting a hand on it. Aiden Hutchinson being disruptive again. He knows he can't get there. He stops, gets that big paw up there, and that would have been a completion to Brandon Powell. So that is a nice job by Aiden Hutchinson aiding the secondary with that pass breakup. No pun intended. Aiden Hutchinson, <laughs> Michigan native, Lions fan. We asked him the other day. He said it was tough being a Lions fan when I was growing up. Calvin Johnson, his favorite player. He said he was the Barry Sanders of my generation. Now Mullins oh, has the ball, ball free. And it's still loose. Vikings have recovered. Justin Jefferson falling on it. Clock continues to run. This is Romeo Aquar. He's going to get the pressure coming from the left side. Beats C.J. Ham, who's supposed to be in there for better pass protection. And if John Kaminsky could have picked that up, they would, he would have been walking into the end zone for a touchdown. Third down at 27. Mullins fires. Wow. Jefferson, whoa! What a catch! Unbelievable! An incredible catch by Jefferson. On third down and 27, the Vikings pick up a first down. And now Mullins will stop the clock with a minute five remaining. Unbelievable. And you wonder why I've been calling him the best wide receiver in the NFL. Goes up over two defenders. Kenny, they are doubling him. The only person that can make a play for the Vikings is Justin Jefferson. Nick Mullins throws it his way, and he comes down with a 50-50 ball. That's Mullins' 10th completion of at least 20 yards, and most of them have gone to Jefferson. Play clock down to two. Second and 10 following the spike. Mullins to the outside. It's Powell. Brandon Powell takes it all the way to the Lions' 30-yard line. 26-yard connection. He gets a ton of separation from Brian Branch. Brandon Powell is so quick, so if you can continue to have time for Nick Mullins to find that one-on-one -on -one matchup on those outbreaking routes, he's going to find the guy they're going to connect and going to get a big completion. You know, I'm just thinking back. How close was John Kaminsky from picking up that? That's loose why ball? I said it. You're right. A moment ago. You're right. Mullins over 400 yards today from the 30 on first down. Mullins steps up. He throws. It is picked off. Melifonwu with the exclamation point for the Detroit Lions today. As he comes up with the interception in the final minute. Man, Justin Jefferson played as hard as he could play. Nick Mullins with his fourth interception. And what you're going to see from Justin Jefferson as he goes out and breaks back in. Nick Mullins does a great job sliding up in the pocket. The ball just got away from him. He throws a duck. You see a wobbly ball out there. Had he been able to actually put some heat on that football, he would have had a completion to Justin Jefferson. Instead, it just lags out there, and Melifonwu 
who's going to be a starter for a long time in this league. Ever since I've watched him with Denver last week, and now he's making big play after big play after big play. Mullins has thrown for over 400 yards, a couple of touchdowns, but that's his fourth pick. And now we hear, let's go Lions chance here in Minneapolis. They have never hosted a postseason game at Ford Field. Their last home playoff game, January 94, against the Packers. They are the only NFC team that has not gone to a Super Bowl. The Detroit Lions with their first division title since 1993. Aiden Hutchinson told us this is a hat and t-shirt game. Well, they are going to be celebrating with those hats and t-shirts. And boy, did the Vikings make them earn it today. Even with the four interceptions, still only won by one score, 30 to 24. That was a valiant effort by the Vikings. A ton of players went down, but give all the credit to the Lions. They ran the ball well. They passed the ball well. Defensively, they made big play after big play when they had to. They earned this victory today. So congratulations to the Detroit Lions, NFC North champions. Vikings, of course, still remain alive in postseason contention. Lions win it 30-24. What a game.